Welcome back to a new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, we'll simply create a function which takes in two words and, and checks if they're an anagram or not. Uh, if you're unsure what the word anagram means, just simply check here. I have translated, uh, I've, sorry, I've explained it, and it's simply an anagram is a word or a phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase, typically using all the original letters exactly once. So, for example, if we have the word um, God and the word dog, these two words would be anagrams because you can form any of these words using the other. So anyway, I've already started by creating the function right here and I called it anagram. And now we're going to pass in two parameters. The first one is going to be called word one and it's going to be a string. And the second one is going to be word two and it's also going to obviously be a string. After that, I'm going to change the formatting of these two words and I'm gonna change it and save it into an object called w1 for the first word. I'm just simply going to say word one dot lower and I'm gonna explain in detail what this means. Lowercase dot replacing occurrences of Don't get scared if it looks a little bit weird or scary. I'm going to explain it right now. So pretty much, um, let's say someone passes in the word uh, dog, for example, and the word dog. Um, Swift would see that these two words are actually not an anagrams, although we tested it here. And that's because they're all written, in, uh, sorry, the word dog is written in um, caps locks, or sorry, in uppercase. So what all I'm doing here is pretty much taking any letter that's written in uppercase and changing it into lowercase. Not just that, but I'm also replacing any white space, so any spaces, with no spaces. Which means that if someone types in a dog like this, it will be equivalent to dog like this. Anyway, um, I'm going to start doing the same thing for the second word, and this time I'm going to save it in an object called w2. And I'm just simply going to copy this and I'm going to paste it right here, but I'm going to change this to 2. So when you're copying or typing a lot, I usually prefer running this every now and then to check that there's nothing wrong. And as you can see, there was no errors. It's better than going and finishing your code and then realizing that there's like a small problem. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create an if statement to check if, the, if w1 is equivalent to w2. And to do that, all we're going to do is use an if statement. And I'm going to explain what the if statement does in a second. So we're going to say if w1 sorted is equivalent to w2 dot, oops, sorry, dot sorted print true. And we can simply come here and say else print false. Now what the sorted function does is it simply goes through the word and pu and puts it in an array which is from the from in al in an alphabetical order so let's say someone inserted b a c well, after you put it after sorted it will be equivalent to a b and c. And we did that for both words so we said if w1 sorted is equivalent to w2 sorted print true so now if someone goes a b c and then someone goes b c a the sorted function is going to make them both equivalent to a b c because that's the alphabetical order for each and it's going to print whether it's true if that's true or false if it's false so now to run it all we're going to do is pass is call for the function and remember when we actually pass parameters up here we also have to pass them down there so we're simply going to say word one and we're gonna type in this and then we're gonna put the actual string so the actual word and I'm gonna go ahead with dog and then I'm going to go ahead and type in God now let's see if this actually runs correctly and it says true because these words are 
anagrams. Let's try something a bit harder. Um, actually, sorry, not a bit harder, but let's give it a cool example. So I'm going to go ahead and type in silent. And here I'm going to put in silent, but I'm going to test our function a little bit. So I'm going to put a capital S, and I'm going to put a capital L, and then a space, and then E and T. And you know what? Let's also copy this and print two values at the same time. And this one, it's simply going to be the eyes. And this one is going to be eyes the. So let's run this and see if it's true or not. Both of them are true. Now let's try an example where it's actually false. So I'm simply going to add in an extra e here. Or let's add in re to make it an actual word. And it will print false. So that was it for this lab. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, just write them down in the comment. Thank you and please subscribe and like.